Well, the film is about a band called Punch Brothers, founded by uh, Chris Thiele, who's a pretty extraordinary mandolin player. Um, and it, it, the doorway into the film, it sort of picks up right after Chris's uh, divorce and leaving his, uh, the band that he grew up with, Nickel Creek, um, and forming this new band, Punch Brothers. And it, it sort of takes on, um, takes a hard look at this piece of music that, that Chris composed called The Blind Leaving the Blind, which is actually a 45 minute, four movement, through composed string quintet for bluegrass instruments with, uh, with vocals as well. So the movie's kind of about what happens when, uh, when he brings that back to uh, an audience that might be expecting something a little bit different. Well, that sounds really cool. How did you get involved? I mean, how did this come to you? This actually came through my producing partner who's not here with us today, uh, Michael Bullman, who grew up with uh, the fiddle player in Punch Brothers, uh, Gabe Witcher. And, um, he sort of came up to me one day and was like, man, there's these great guys, you gotta see them. And uh, at the time, I was actually in the middle of directing another film, and uh, I just thought he was insane. I hadn't got no time for this, you know. Uh, but went and saw them play at a, at a little tiny club in New York, and was just, was just blown away. It was sort of love at, love at first sight, and off we went. Now, I've traveled around with artists and shot video, and occasionally I run into problems with access and them not wanting to, to, to be on camera that day. Did you have any problems with, uh, you know, cooperation? No, actually none. The guys were uh, really open to us from the start. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I knew the film was going to work, because the very first day I met them, they were walking out of the recording studio and heading onto a stage, and they were about as comfortable as you could be in front of a stranger in the ca with a camera. And that really recommended them to me as sort of a, as a project. Um, but, you know, there are things you have to do early on to build trust. Uh, one, one of the rules that I try to live by is never, a, never let anyone ask you to put the camera down. Um, because then you sort of need their permission to pick it back up again. So early on in filming, I, I usually kind of conspicuously drop the camera when certain things are going on, because it's not a gotcha film, and I'm not really interested in, in that. So when those sorts of things are going on, you know, I usually try to make it be seen that, you know, here's my camera, I'm walking away, you guys do your thing, and then I can pick it back up whenever I want. So we, we established good trust and rapport right away. There was, no, there was nothing they, they ever told me I couldn't film or shoot or use. They were great about that. So what's their reaction been to the film so far? Have they seen it? You know, actually they haven't. We came into the Nashville Film Festival kind of on two wheels. Uh, the first time I had seen the final movie, uh, picture and sound together was Friday night at our, our world premiere. Um, we, we, uh, we mixed the week before we came here. We, uh, we did our color correct the week before that. Uh, so the band has not seen the final film yet. They've seen some earlier iterations. Um, I'll be curious to hear their reaction because one of the things that the film uh, takes on is how these guys are constantly pushing forward, constantly moving into a new frontier, and this for them is is already in the past. So it'll be interesting to see how they regard the film as, as a sort of a, a moment in time that's come and gone uh, now now two years ago. Awesome. So like film festivals are a great place for like up and coming filmmakers or film anybody who ever wants to make a film. Do you have any advice? For like the, the young kid who wants to grow up to do that, how, how they, what would you suggest they do to start? Well, I should say that this is, uh, Nashville is the first festival I've been at with a film of my own, um, and this is, this is the world premiere here. So, uh, but as far as just getting involved with film, I think there's no substitute for just getting out in there and doing something and finishing it. You know, start a project and finish it, and you'll just, you'll learn a ton of things. You'll confront all kinds of mistakes, and, and at the end you'll have something. You know, I, I think that's really the key, is just get out there, do it, and finish it. Awesome. This is the world premiere of Nashville Film Festival. What's your experience been like so far? It's been fantastic. I mean, you know, Nashville is just such a natural fit for this film with, uh, you know, the type of music that we feature in the movie and the types of guys who are, you know, this is sort of the very cradle of, of the music that, um, that inspired these guys and led to the music that's featured in the film. So. The town has been just so great to us. I've gotten to see some great films. I've been able to kind of sneak away from the festival uh, to, to see some shows as well. I got to go to the Exit Inn uh, uh, briefly, and I'm uh, going to go check out something maybe at the station in after the festival's over. So um, it's just, uh, you know, tornadoes aside, it's been a blast.